Now, she seems like she knows how to have fun. No doubt yeah. about it. Yeah. I was excited just watching it. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, it makes me want to go to all those things she's talking about. Squash bucklers. Oh, good job. Say that five times fast. Don't try it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the weather. As we go into the weekend, we're going to see some snow up in the mountains and uh, some snow. weather down here, right? Yeah, a lot of snow, a lot of rain, a lot of wind. That's a, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> a lot going on. Let's get right to it. Yeah, live outside right now. 45 degrees, Ken, with some rain coming down. You know, we've had that rain in here all morning with that southerly wind uh, continuing to blow. And boy, this is a picture we're going to see a lot of coming up over the next week. A lot of snow coming down at Mount Hood Meadows now. Can't see the lodge anymore or the folks up there skiing. 28 degrees, moderate snow up there right now. Uh, it will continue to pick up this afternoon. There's a live shot of uh, Highway 26 at Mount Hood. I guess that'd be a still shot, but uh, current picture there. A lot of snow on the ground there. That will continue. There's that front boy just off the coast now, streaming all that moisture inland across the coast range in the uh, Willamette Valley. Moderate to heavy rain, soon to be up into the Cascades, if not already there right now. We'll zoom in on the Portland metro area. Boy, you see it is a wet commute. I think this front's going to move through about to 4 o'clock today, so we may just get it out of here in time for the evening commute. We'll see how that goes. Uh, 20 to 25 mile an hour gusts right now out of the south in the valley, 15 to 20 along the coast, and uh, Mount Hood Meadows there now missing, but it was up in the 30s earlier. All right, our headlines, heavy mountain snow today and tomorrow. They'll be measuring that in feet coming up over the weekend. Winds gusting perhaps as high as 30 to 40 in the valley in the next few hours before it tapers off this evening. And the potential for snow in Portland next week, I'm still tracking it. It's certainly a possibility. Here's those, uh, temp uh, excuse me, this rainfall amounts through Sunday, maybe an inch, inch and a half. Most of that's going to come today, tonight, and overnight into tomorrow. And uh, maybe two, two and a half inches out there along the coast. All right, future cast shows that front moving through today. Turns to scattered showers here at 530 on Friday. Scattered showers continue on into your Saturday and into your Sunday. And as we get into Sunday night and into Monday, we'll zoom in here on the Portland area. Here's 6 a.m. Monday morning. Snow possible up in the hills. It would be light. It wouldn't be an issue on the roadways. I don't expect any sticking snow in the valley on the floor, but we could have a little mix on Monday morning. And then once we get into Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday, that's when I think we have a better shot of seeing some light snow in the metro area. Here's the 7 o'clock on Tuesday night. And then another system coming in on Wednesday. Okay, a lot of snow in the Cascades, way off on this scale. Three, four, maybe even five feet of snow over the next five to six days up there in the mountains. Going to be some big impressive totals. Okay, here's the European model showing just maybe a skiff in Portland Monday morning. And as we move into Tuesday morning, about the same. And then once we get into Wednesday and into Thursday, that's when we've got a better shot for snow coming up in the Cascades and especially down here in the uh, lower valley area. So we'll be watching that closely. Natasha will be in this afternoon and Joseph will be in all weekend. See if we can refine that forecast for the potential of valley snow sticking on the valley floor next week. Okay, seven day forecast. There it is, a lot of rain and mountain snow coming up this weekend, Ken. And then all eyes to next week, Tuesday through Thursday. A lot of cold air in place. If we get the moisture at the right time, we've got ourselves a, a classic uh, Portland snow setup, but we'll see how it all plays out. Little adjustments, as we know, in that forecast can make a big difference. All right. Well, we haven't had a big snow event yet, so I nope. guess we're due for it's one. It's been a couple of years. We'll be right back.